Hello, uh, my name's Dominic Ponsford, Press Gazette editor, and welcome to another edition of Press Gazette Journalism Weekly. It's been another fascinating week in the world of journalism news. The big story this week, of course, has been Ed Miliband versus the Daily Mail. It's not often that the leader of the opposition effectively declares war on the UK's second most read daily newspaper, and arguably most influential. The Daily Mail described Ed Miliband's late father, Ralph, as the man who hated Britain. This was partly based on uh, writings by the 17-year-old Ralph Miliband. So we thought it'd be interesting to see what uh, a teenage Daily Mail editor, Paul Dacre, thought of the world. We've had a route around in the uh, library at the University of Leeds, where Paul Dacre used to edit the student newspaper, with some interesting results. In regional newspapers, this week we say goodbye to NewsQuest Chief Executive Paul Davidson after 11 years in the job. NewsQuest is the UK's third biggest regional newspaper publisher. But in all those 11 years, Paul Davidson has never once given Press Gazette an interview or even returned a phone call. Uh, a really uh, unique and impressive record for a chief exec of such a big company. Let's hope we get more joy from new chief executive Henry Fowler Walker, who joined NewsQuest after previously being digital chief at Johnston Press. In magazines, there's all change again at Loaded Magazine. Once the uh, giant of the lads mag sector, 2000, it sold more than 300,000 copies every month. Now it's down to less than a tenth of that figure. Loaded has got its fourth owner in three years, which is really uh, symptomatic of the decline in that sector. Uh, let's hope uh, the new owner has better luck with its relaunch. It said it's going to go uh, slightly up market and go for a more stylized depiction of women in its pages. Also in Press Gazette this week, we've got a guide to the defamation bill. Everything you need to know about that incredibly important piece of legislation, which is due to become law before the end of this year. And still on media law, we say goodbye to Walter Greenwood, who's died at 87, and he was a journalist who literally wrote the book on media law. He co-edited 13 editions of McNay's Essential Law for Journalists. Sadly, he's passed away at the age of 87. We have a look back at his life in this week's edition and include uh, the interesting fact that, if, that not long ago, when he uh, suffered a stroke, he was asked to recite a few words to the doctor. True to form, he, 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 uh, told them, he gave them a brief introduction to defamation law. So those are the highlights from this week's Press Gazette Journalism Weekly. To make sure you get our email every week, just uh, fill in your details in the form at the top right-hand box of our homepage.